Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Marshall bringing you guys another video. In today's video, I am going to show you how to do the brand new parallel editing slash shooting course. This course honestly is extremely, extremely hard. If you're used to just the old editing course, that one was actually pretty easy. If you guys didn't watch my last video, I think weeks ago where I did the editing course, I beat almost beat Tfue's time. But today we're doing this course and I will show you guys the code at the end of the video. So guys, if you do want to do this course, stay tuned. I will give you guys the code and stuff like that. It's hard to find it because they tweeted it out and I still can't even find the tweet. I saw the tweet once, I liked it, and then I screenshotted it so that way I can have the code and then I can't find the tweet again for some weird reason. But guys, basically, this is the course. I'm gonna go through it. I'm, I'm not gonna try my, I mean, I'm gonna try my best, but I'm not that good at it, you guys. It's actually harder than you think. Uh, you've watched the Twitter video probably and it looks insanely easy. The guy that did it just ran through it so quick. It's harder than you think. So with that being said, I'm gonna try my best to do it. I'm gonna focus, concentrate and stuff and then at the end, I'll tell you guys exactly the exact code and how to get this for yourself in creative mode now keep in mind I do suck so don't judge me too much on this but let's go oh my gosh see I, I miss a lot and then on top of that like I'm just very very slow when it comes to this well when you watch the person that did it on Twitter do it and you see how extreme oh I messed up and you see how extremely fast he was You'll be like, oh my goodness, motion, you're slow. And I understand. This part is kind of fun, kind of annoying, kind of easy. It's just really fun to practice your air shot like this. And they have exactly 30, so. Oh, not that way. See, sometimes I get confused as to where I'm supposed to go. Okay, so this is the iceberg one. One, two, three. Oh, gotta open the door because I messed that up before. And then we can go ahead and do this. This is like a flick shot. I'm not that good at flick shots, especially with an AR. Oh. And then this one is kind of difficult. Uh, kind of easy. If you miss it, you can just hit it like that. This one's kind of hard. If you're not good at shots like this, that one would be normally difficult, but um, that was actually the best I probably ever did on that. And then 90s, here we go with 90s. My best time is like, I don't even know. It's not that good of a time. Now right here, I like to cheat a little bit and shoot them before I go, just because I'm not that good at it, you guys. You gotta keep that in mind. Edit this, close it, edit the next one, close it. Edit the next one. And then this part, this is the hardest part in my opinion. Oh my gosh. I finally did it and then I choked. Oh, right here. The only reason it's hard is because you got to shoot, look down, and put a marker or put a floor down. Now, I mean, this part is easy right there. But when you have to shoot and put a floor down, see, I missed it. Now, technically, this, this run would not count towards my time just because I missed it. Oh, there's one up there that I always miss. And I think that's it. Maybe I missed one more. This part's actually really fun right here. Just because it feels like you did something crazy good. Oh no, what am I doing? Seven oh three. Okay, so that was probably tied with my quickest time, which is pretty good. I mean, if I could do that in a video where I'm talking to you guys and not really fully concentrating, I think I could get my time. The best I could probably get my time to is seven thirty. Now that's just probably my personal best that I can do. As you can see, there's no one else in the lobby, so I didn't cheat or anything like that. This is no record time. Um, I probably, honestly, I probably mess up because this course is extremely hard, you guys. Like, not just doing it, but like coming down here, shooting all these things. Let's see if I missed anything. So, um, if I miss anything but it doesn't look like i did I, honestly it looks like i hit it right guys let me know in the comment section below if i did it right that is my time 703 if you guys can beat it go ahead and try i haven't been doing this for long probably like maybe an hour and a half that i've been practicing it so that's not long compared to the other one i spent like five hours practicing. so i know i can definitely get my time up but this is a good 
practice course if you want to learn how to edit and shoot and stuff like that and get better at the game you just constantly sit here for hours practicing it and it does get you better at the game but with that being said guys thank you so much for all the love all the support the code is on the screen right now if you guys want to see it actually let me sh let me show you over here so basically you come over here you you edit this and then you type in this code right here in the top of it so as you guys can see i have like these are the codes that i typed in this is the one you want to do nine four six seven six four two four nine two seven one then you hit select island it loads up and you walk through it it's called it is called the parallel cnnr so shout out to him for this huge huge course like this course is amazing a lot of people are doing it. a lot of pros are doing it just for the fun of it try to beat the time so parallel cnnr on twitter for a run through of how it should be played so if you do want to see exactly how he did it and how quick he did it go to his twitter page check it out but with that being said guys i'll see you in the next video peace